Hi everybody, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot. So for today's video, we're asking the question, what do people admire most about you? So we have three piles here, one, two, and three. So number one is a piece of tiger's eye. Number two is this aventurine crystal. And number three is the citrine. So whichever one's calling your attention or whichever one your intuition feels drawn to, take your time, you can pause the video. That's gonna be the message for you. We're also gonna be using charms today. So I also have the palm here, and what we're going to do is anything that lands in the palm is going to be the things that people are especially drawn to about you, or the things that they notice right away, that they really like about you. So I'll list the decks that I'm using down below. I've been trying to remember to do that. And also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I'll link that down below. I'm having so much fun on there. I haven't posted in a couple days, but I will be. And I've just been really enjoying the things you've been tagging me in and the messages that I've been getting. So thank you so much. I've been having a lot of fun on there. So if you want to follow me, I'll link that down below. But yeah, we'll get started. So we've got one, two, and three. Take your time. We'll get started with the Tiger's Eye group. Hi, group one. So if you chose the Tiger's Eye crystal, this is your message. First, we'll look at your cards and then we'll do your charms and put everything together. So the question was, what do people admire most about you? So let's look at our Crow Tarot cards first. So we have the King of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Lover's card. Okay, we've got Meditation to Dig Deep. We've got Creativity, Communication. you got two Witchlings cards. So you also have Nurture, Forgiveness, and Cauldron. All right. So let's just look at your charms first. So anything that lands in the palm is going to be the things that people notice first that they admire. These are the things that they catch on to right away about you. Oh wow, lots, lots of things landed in the uh, focus area here. The first one that caught my eye is the friendship charm. So you're a good friend. Bottom line, people meet you and they think this is per this is the kind of person I want to be friends with. So that's beautiful. Look, you've got the little beach chairs. So I think of this as just sort of sitting with a friend, you know, talking things through. I think you're somebody that they really enjoy relaxing with and just spending time talking to. I'm just going to put them aside. We've got the lightning bolt and the bell. So we're going to get to those in a minute. What I'm going to do is put the focus charms to the side here and we'll connect them to the cards. We've got the scissors. We've got the ghost. So with the scissors and the ghost, I think of the fact that you help them, you help people cut things from the past. So you're really, you're really good at helping people move on from situations. And that's what makes me think of, you know, the two chairs, like the fact that people really can like confiding in you. Yeah, very good friend. Very, very nice. Okay. So I'm going to put these aside. We'll come back and look at all of your other charms. I can already see that you're very helpful. We've got the hand here, the helping hand. We also have another charm about letting go. Life. The key. You're somebody who has all the answers. You've got the wrench so you fix problems for people. We have two N's and an R that could stand for some initials, or we have a, a T as well. Okay, so if it's not initials, it could be the initial of somebody in your life that finds you particularly amazing, somebody that really admires you. Okay, so we'll just set these aside and take a closer look at your cards. So before we get to the oracle cards, let's just look at your tarot cards. So these two are interesting because you've got the two of wands, the Two of Wands is about foresight. It's about seeing, you're having a plan and knowing what to do, knowing how to how to get what you need. So I think people really enjoy the fact that you're very intelligent. So you have you have foresight. The fact that you have the King of Swords too. The swords are all about our mind. This is intellect. This is communication. So people find you to be an excellent communicator. They they really like the way your mind works. They like hearing you talk. I bet you're the kind of person that when friends get you know. They asked you for advice on maybe how to how to send a text or they're like oh how should i say this like that kind of thing i'm sure you've had that happen so they really appreciate the way you word things i wouldn't be surprised if in school people asked asked for help with the, with writing or reading things like that 
is coming through here. But foresight for sure. So you're a problem solver for them. You help them look towards the future. Look towards the future and look, because we've got the ghost and the scissors, you are somebody that helps people move on from the past and look towards the future. And maybe, you know, that could also just be a quality about you that people really admire. The fact that you're always looking towards the future. You know, you, you don't dwell on the past too much. You just stay optimistic about looking towards the future. The lover's card. This makes me think that you are somebody that appreciates qualities about everyone. You see the positive. You're very committed, very loyal. But the lover's card can sometimes be about opposites, you know, coming together. So, you know, the sun and the moon here. So you are somebody that appreciates the difference in people and you find ways to make those differences harmonious in relationships. I hope that makes sense. You find the good qualities in people and, you know, focus on those things rather than the negatives. Cauldron. Cauldron makes me think of, because of the word containment here, this makes me think of secrets. So you are somebody, like with the friendship charm, people know that if they tell some, tell you something, no matter how you know bubbly the secret is, you're, you're going to keep it. You know, you're not somebody who's going to run out and tell other people. They just know they tell you something and it's going to stay there. So I think that's part of the, the trusting feeling that people have. Like with the lock and key here, like you tell them something and it's staying. You guys, they know that the secret's locked. So very, very trustworthy. We have forgiveness. So I just think that just means you're very forgiving. People admire how forgiving you are. And like I said with the lover's card, people see that you see the best in people. You see the positive in any situation, no matter how negative it might seem. You're the person that people look to for optimism and positivity. You just you keep people looking forward rather than rather than behind. Look at this, this little bead that fell into your focus area. It's like looks like a little earth and you've got the earth here so in the two of wands you always see that little earth one of my favorite decks has the person holding the earth so you see the bigger picture and you see that you know things are best if we all work together so people really admire that about you as well communication this card makes a lot of sense because you have that king of pardon me the king of swords so communication again look look at this guy so this this deck i really like this is the magical herb oracle but see, there's a there's some uh, writing here, like a writing feather. So you are probably excellent at writing, communication, words, talking, things like that. People really love what you have to say and what you think. Meditation to dig deep. So this makes me think that you're very grounding for people. So if you look here, like the dog's digging and this person's digging too. So you guys, you really are somebody that people can count on to get to the heart of the issue. You're, you're probably the kind of person where when someone has a problem and they can't really figure out even what's bothering them. Have you ever been in a situation where you're like, I don't even know why I'm bothered by this. Like you're the person that people know will help work, work it out. You know, like you sort of, you sort of just make sense of things for people in a way that they weren't able to do themselves. So, and then you have nurture and creativity. Let's see if these match any charms. I'll get your charms back in the picture here in your focus area so with the figure skater I think of balancing you know you seem to to balance life and work and situations with ease so people really appreciate that the lightning bolt and the little bell here make me think of attention like getting your attention calling your attention so you're somebody I think that like this makes me think of like information quick information logic so you are somebody that just can give people like that aha moment, like, oh my gosh, yeah, that, that's exactly why I was upset or that's exactly what I need to do. So you are somebody who is excellent at advice. People really admire that about you. They admire the way you seem to have it all together. Even if you feel like you don't, people perceive you to be somebody that's got it figured out. Helping hand, again, like I said, the wrench. So problem solver, fix, you know, fixing situations. Viewing things positively, looking towards the future, like I said with that two of wands. The friendship charm there, like I said with the secrets, excellent secret keeper. You are, that's wonderful. And then moving on. So ghost, it's so funny because someone in the comments said, you know, with the ghost, they think of ghosting. So like when you're texting someone and they ghost you. So it could be a situation where right now you're dealing with a situation like that, or you have a friend who's dealing with a situation where they've been ghosted, which for those of you that don't know that term, it just means somebody was talking to you and then they stopped suddenly. 
and kind of left you wondering. So it could be that you have a friend that's dealing with a situation like that and you're sort of their, like, their safety or they want to come to you and ask your advice and, and ask for your help. Creativity too makes me think of creative ways of solving problems. So not only are you a good problem solver, but you're really excellent at doing it in ways that are very creative and uh, maybe ways that people haven't thought of. So I think this all sort of comes together as just being a really good friend. So you've got that forgiveness thing. I mean, you forgive people. You give people the benefit of the doubt. You may, you don't you don't make people feel guilty. You understand that everybody makes mistakes. You know, everybody has days. So you are somebody that people just know that even if they, you know, have an off day, you're going to forgive them. You're going to you're going to understand that they're only human. Cauldron, so secret keeper. Excellent secret keeper. Lovers. Again, that opposites feeling. So they know that they can be themselves and you're still going to be loyal. You're still going to be committed. Foresight, seeing into the future. Communication, like I've been saying with that King of Swords and the fact that you have the communication card too. Really makes me think that you're a very smart, intellectual person that people just love what you have to say and your advice and what you think. And I wouldn't be surprised if you're excellent with writing. So either wouldn't be surprised if you're somebody who's been interested in having a blog or writing a book or just speaking, maybe even on YouTube, but you're very excellent with your words and communication. Very honest too, with the clear heart, just honesty. You speak from the heart. You're not hiding anything. With the mask upside down, again, you're not hiding anything. If the mask had landed this way, you know, sometimes that can mean secrets, not being yourself, but your mask landed this way. And if you notice earlier, the wrench was landing in it. And then what's this one? You've got the Seven of Cups. So again, I just think of helping people. So it's Seven of Cups, seeing all their options, all their all their opportunities that they have available to them and helping them fix the situation. Very cool. And look at this. You've got the uh, three, of, three of Swords. So you might be helping somebody with a heartbreak currently. Oh, you guys have the bobbin too. So when I say the bobbin, I think of behind the scenes work. So things that you do things that people admire in, in the sense that you do the, the work that people don't really want to do. So people really admire that you pay attention to small details and they really admire that about you. So in, at work, for instance, you might be somebody that always keeps up with their paperwork or you might be somebody that always makes sure to just do those small details that people tend to push aside. You're somebody that really focuses on those details. If you don't feel like that resonates, it could just mean that it's urging you to do that, to pay attention to small details. So sometimes the charms can be telling you things that people would admire about you, um, but you'll know again what resonates with you. People are very attached to you as a friend. Very, very attached to you. You're like that one in a lifetime friend. With the unicorn here, like you are just that unique friend that people are just like, feel so lucky to have. Awesome. So group one, I hope that resonated. Please let me know in the comments. I feel lucky to have you as a subscriber or watching my video. You guys are amazing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Hi group two. So if you chose the Aventurine Crystal, this is your message. So what do people admire most about you? We'll look at the cards first and then we'll do your charms. So for your, your Crow Tarot cards, you have the Five of Cups, the Emperor, and the Page of Swords. For your Oracle cards, you have Progress, Revelation, Vitality, Ground and Center, and Magic. Okay, let's look at your charms. And just to remind you, the palm in the center, this is going to be what people notice first about you. So the, right away, what people admire. Okay, so what's jumping out at me is you've got the friend here. So you're an excellent friend right off the right off the hop. For letters, we have a Y, a C, a G, an N, and we also had a P and an F. So those could be initials. This could be initials of someone in your life. A lot of times you guys are really good at spotting words. So what people admire about you. I'm just going to take a quick peek and then we'll look at the cards together with the charms. But the one that jumped out at me first was the friendship charm. Okay, 
So let's look at the tarot cards first. So this is an interesting little group here. The Five of Cups, at first I was like, hmm. But you know what? I think it's just focusing on optimism because this card is a card of disappointment. It can sometimes be about dwelling on negative things. So it could be the fact that you're somebody who, when people are feeling very pessimistic, you lift them up, you give them something to be hopeful for. It could also mean that you're just a very optimistic person. I'm thinking too, maybe a lot of you have been through a recent disappointment or challenge that you guys are really having to be strong or you've had to be strong and people admire your strength for getting through this situation. The Emperor, so this card, whenever I get the Emperor and the Empress, I think of the Empress's motherly energy and the Emperor's fatherly energy. And it doesn't mean you have to be a male or, or a father. All it means is this is like the masculine energy. So I think of this as you're somebody who people go to for advice. You're somebody who has all the answers. <laughs> you've got it figured out. People think you've just got all the answers. They really admire what you have to say in the sense. And you know what? There's a lot of similarities here. I'm already picking up with group one, but you guys have the answers. More so with you guys, because we had that magic card, I think you guys have a little bit of magic to you, a little bit of mis a little bit of mystery. So people find you very interesting in the, in the sense that they find you mysterious and magical. There's something sort of otherworldly about you, like people just think you're you're magic. So you might be somebody who's into tarot. You might read tarot cards or charms or something like that. You might be interested in this kind of thing, and people really think that's cool. So people admire that about you. But I think you could be somebody who's very excellent at manifestation. People just seem to think you're very, you kind of got things figured out is sort of the feeling I'm getting. Revelation too. I thought this was interesting because it's almost like crystal ball energy. And like with the moon here, I think of psychic energy. So just knowing. So you're somebody that people think, you know, they think you're very intuitive. You might be an empath too. Because of this ground and center card, you might be somebody who just people find very healing. It might be the fact, too, that sometimes pessimistic people are drawn to you because you're an empath. So maybe you're so healing that maybe everyone just sort of wants to be near you all the time to absorb that positive energy. Vitality was interesting, too, because the little swirls here makes me think of energy, makes me think of aura. So I think you have a very healing aura, a very healing energy. The, being on the star here, a star, I think of hope, right? So you're somebody who's very healing, you give people hope. Vitality is a beaming force that gives energy and vigor to life. So you have just like this magic about you is, is the strong feeling that I'm getting. The citrine here, you're a problem solver for, for, for sure. You've got the uh, little fairy here. So people find you very mysterious and mystical right away. That's one of the first things they notice. You're very comforting. With the teddy bear, I think of your just your warm and comforting energy. People just want to give you a hug when they see you. Very mysterious. Very hard working too is something people admire about you. Very persistent. Problem solver with the iron here. The sun, so clarity. The key, I just think of having all the answers. But for you guys, more of a psychic We've got song here. That might be significant for a few of you. We also have an eye. So let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Believe. So maybe you give people hope. You find them. People feel very grounded and healed when they're with you. So like I said, be careful though, because a lot of people with really negative, pessimistic energy might want to be around you so often because you're so positive that it might drain you sometimes. So vitality too just makes me think of taking care of your own health so doing things that are good for for yourself as well because you can help other people absolutely you've got like this charm here and the other group got this charm so there are some similarities between one and two for you guys i just think you guys have more of that psychic intuitive empath energy than group one was just a few other different qualities but you guys have this like psychic magic ability about you and that's part of what draws people to you progress too I think of psychic abilities manifestation moving on I think a lot of you like I said earlier you have been through a recent change or or something a little bit challenging in the past I this reminds me of the tower card and it's sort of in the past here page new outlook positivity so I think a lot of you have gone through something challenging recently that people really admire how you got through it 
and you, and you're you're getting through it very enthusiastically. So people really admire your enthusiasm, your hope for the future, like the fact that you can look at things from a, a fresh perspective, very optimistic. Very very nice. Yeah, and the can the candle the candle magic makes me think of just manifestation, magic, intuition, revelation. So epiphanies, knowing things, information. Like I said, with the vitality, you might be somebody who really takes care of yourself. People might admire that, but I think more so it's like an aura energy. People just really want to be around your your energy and your aura, ground and center. People find you grounded and very calming. Progress. You help people move forward, move on up from situations. Maybe that's where this advice comes in. So maybe people ask you for advice because of you just seem to understand things and have the answers. Very wise. And like I said with the emperor, again, it doesn't mean you have to be a father or like even have masculine energy. We all have masculine, masculine and feminine energy. Okay, we all have different degrees of each. So it just means that you might have more of that strong, powerful, masculine side of energy. More like, um, you know, with the female energy, we think we tend to think more emotions, right? Like the queen of cups, where's the emperor or the empress, like nurturing energy. Where the emperor, it's just a little bit more, you know, straightforward. He's got a sword here. So we think of the air energy. So that's communication, straightforward. So you might be somebody that just knows things. You get information very clearly. You understand things and uh, people really admire that about you. Having said that, though, we also have the, the nurturing energy in here as well. So you might be really well balanced in the sense that people find you very calming and nurturing but also straightforward and again that was sort of kind of a theme in group one too so i wouldn't be surprised if you were attracted to the tiger's eye but i think for you guys it's a little bit more psychic a little bit more of a psychic feeling here now the romance charm landed in here as well so you might be very romantic people find you very romantically attractive so they admire just like you as like like so this might be like romantically somebody that you're thinking of. These are the qualities that they admire in particular about you. So people might find you very just attractive in like a romance sense too. Like people just find you very captivating. You get people's attention for sure. With the whistle, I think you just call attention. I think for some of you, there's a particular male or masculine energy like I was talking about with the emperor. There's a masculine energy that's particularly fond of you right now and admiring you very strongly. So like I said, this could represent that side of you, but it could also represent somebody in particular. Okay, very uh, strong ma masculine figure. We also have this. So there is somebody that has their eye on you I'm getting here and is admiring you. Oh, look, we have the he as well. Okay, so we've got, you know, the masculine charm, the emperor, which is more masculine energy, and we have the he. Okay. So that just means this is somebody who identifies as a he, okay, that is very fond of you in particular right now. People find you funny. They think you're just a really funny person. They can have fun with you. So you're not always serious, but you are somebody that knows how to get things done. You know, you've got this mystery. I wouldn't be surprised if you're a water sign or a Scorpio, Scorpio in particular. <laughs> Let me know if you're a Scorpio down below because I'm getting that strong feeling Leo for a lot of you as well. But very, very cool. So guys, let me know if this resonated. I hope it did. I hope you enjoyed the little crows and the spookiness. I have a lot more videos planned coming up soon. So thanks so much. Hey, Bye. Three. If you chose the citrine crystal, this is your message. You might be able to hear my neighbor mowing their lawn. Sorry about that. I hope it's not too loud. So we have for your crow tarot, we've got the ace of wands, the king of pentacles, and the queen of cups. We have dedication inspiration and courage we've got happiness truth and acceptance all right lots of messages let's look at your charms so we are going to look at whatever's in the hand is going to be what people notice first so the thing that people pick up on right away about you that they really admire and then everything else around it we'll read as well So group three, okay. So I can see that you have been through somewhat of a challenge that has made you a stronger person. All right, with this little teardrop crystal here. And we have a Y that landed here. And what, the word that came to mind was yes. 
So if it's not, a, not an initial, why it doesn't have any other significance to you it could just be the fact that you're an optimist. You're somebody that says yes. You're, you know, you're the kind of person that people feel like look at things really positively. So for letters, we have a J, F, R, and a B, and that could be an initial, it might not. Okay, so what do people admire about you? So secret tells me that you're trustworthy. I definitely do see the fact that you've been through something pretty transformative. We had the butterfly here with the transformation. With that teardrop, you guys have been through a bit of a tower moment maybe recently. So we've got a cancer charm, so you might be a water sign. It's complicated always story okay so i'm getting a general feeling here but let's tie your cards in here and then we'll connect everything and find out what people admire most about you group three so why don't we look at your tarot cards first your crow tarot so what i thought was cool is you have a king and a queen so immediately what i'm thinking is you're very well rounded and the queen of cups tells me that you're very nurturing and very caring you're very loving so people admire that about you. And then the King of Pentacles, you're also very reliable. You're very, like this could be a very nurturing, trustworthy energy. You know, you're somebody who likes to provide for people. You're probably very generous. So people really admire your generosity, not only of, you know, things, or, you know, you might be generous with money. Sometimes you might be very giving and like gifts and things like that. Maybe you like to take people out for dinner or buy them gifts and things. But people also admire how giving you are of your heart you're very caring and very loving so people are really very in touch with your emotions too and then the ace of wands you are a visionary so people really that's immediately what i'm getting i think you're probably a very creative person as well creativity came a lot up today for a lot of people but you guys might have a lot of creative energy you might be a very passionate person people just see you as the kind of person and because it's an ace and, you know, we had those signs of the fact that you've been going through a challenge. This is like, you're on the the path right now of a new beginning. So people are noticing that and they admire that about you. So we have happiness. So you're just an optimistic person. And again, that came up today too. So you might have been drawn to another one of the crystals. But it says, if happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. And basically that means even though when things are happening that aren't, you know, conducive with being happy... You can still choose to focus on things that make you happy. Because I think we oftentimes always expect things to be perfect in order for us to be happy, but things are never perfect. Unfortunately, there's always something that could cloud cloud your sunny day, you know? There's always something, it's all relative to the day, right? Because you could be having an awesome day and all it could take is one tiny comment from someone. And you can choose to let that ruin your day, or you could choose to focus on things that make you happy. And I think you're somebody that does that. You try your very best, and it doesn't mean you're not going to have bad days, but it, it does mean that you, for the most part, try to be very happy, and you try to make other people happy, too. I think you're somebody that might, like, I almost think, I get like a, just the way her hair is, like a, a comedian energy, like a clown, not literal clown, but like, you're somebody that likes to make people laugh and, peop and make people feel very happy, which is nice. You also have inspiration and courage, so I think you do inspire people. Because you have that ace of wands which can talk about inspiration you have the inspiration and courage you inspire people you make people feel courageous themselves and i think that's because they're inspired by how courageous you've had to be and they see that your optimism is a really big part of who you are you have two sun charms look at this you've got the sun like that's warmth people are just drawn to you to your warmth and your optimism and oh as i drop the sunflower your warmth and your optimism and your kindness and just you're just like a very attractive person people just find you so warm and comforting that would make sense if you're a water sign too i'm really getting strong water energy today so what else do we have here committed very committed friend i think you ease people as in people's anxieties maybe you're somebody that maybe whatever this is that you've gone through has caused you some anxiety so you're focusing on being happy so truth, I find they must find you very trustworthy, very truthful, very honest. So they obviously feel like they can tell you things and confide in you. And you're, you're somebody that's going to keep it to yourself, which is really nice. That also came up today. You almost seem like a combination of the first two groups, which happens a lot in my readings. I've noticed that one or two times before where 
Group three seems to almost feel like a combination of the first two in, in certain ways. You guys have your own different things going on here too, but you are an awesome friend, but you guys have a little bit of, I'm getting that psychic ability here too. We've got that crystal ball here and we have, you know, the sun. I can sometimes, I just have some energy here that's making me think with the queen of cups being very intuitive too, that you guys have this psychic ability to you. You might be very intuitive. You might be an empath. And maybe that's why being happy and focus on focusing on things that make you happy are so important to you. So yeah, very truthful. I think you're probably somebody who knows the truth. You understand the truth. People appreciate that. Sorry, there's a pen on my hand here. Acceptance. So I love that. I think you're very accepting of other people. But the message I just got too is you're very accepting of the situation. So you're somebody that realizes that you need to accept where you are in order to move on. So maybe you've had to do that. Maybe that's part of the challenge that you've been through is you had to accept something that you didn't really, you know, it wasn't ideal, but you made it work. And people can see that. Like there's at least a few people in your life that really, they noticed that. You might not think they saw what you had to do, but they did see. And they, they really admire you and your strength. Dedication. Okay, so this could be the fact that you are somebody who's very dedicated to your faith. That doesn't need to mean necessarily any sort of religion, but you might just be a, a very, uh, somebody who's very in touch with having faith, being hopeful. It could be too that maybe you are somebody that practices um, a religion or you practice a, a spirituality or faith and people really admire that about you. And that's sort of what makes me think you've got a little bit of a psychic, uh, something psychic going on with you guys too, because of the other charms we had. And then just the fact that we got this dedication altar so you might be somebody who's interested in tarot and things as well but dedication we can also take as literally the fact that you're a very dedicated person you're somebody who doesn't give up and the fact that we had that courage card tells me that too so you, you don't give up and people notice that about you and people when they see that you actually give them strength so remember that when you're going through these challenging times and people see how strong you're you're having to be people remember that and then it really helps them when they're going through challenging times so I think people it's important for you that you click this video today because I think it's just letting you know that you know your struggle that you recently went through people saw how you had to, how strong you had to be so you should be proud of yourself I think with the upside down mask this landed in almost the exact same spot I think group two did Okay, so you do have a strong connection with group two. I would almost say go back and watch group two because I think you guys may have very similar messages. But the mask here, being yourself because it landed upside down, being yourself, being true to yourself. People, I think you're at the point now where you're just going to be yourself. You're, you don't care what people think. You just want to be happy. You just want to do your own thing and be happy and make other people happy. And I think you're the kind of person too where you don't care what other people are doing. You don't judge people. You just want, you know, if as long as it's not hurting anyone, just be happy. And I think people admire the fact that you're just willing to be yourself. You just want to make people happy. You want to focus on good things, which is awesome. Then truth, back to this card, because we have the secret charm that came out that just sort of confirms to me that you're an excellent secret keeper. See here. I just got the message here with the story charm and then this happiness card that you might be somebody who people really enjoy listening to your experiences and your stories. You sort of make you're a really good storyteller in the sense that people love hearing what you've been through. They love hearing your experiences. They even love hearing about your day. Like you might be you might find people really like ask you a lot of questions or they just want to want to know about you because people just find you very interesting. Just like inspiring people find you very inspiring with this ace of wands king of pentacles too i love that you have the queen of cups and the king of pentacles these are two of my favorite kings and queens because this is just again reliable giving generous kind trustworthy queen of cups nurturing a little bit of intuition energy very in touch with your emotions and other people's emotions too so empath and that's another thing that connects to group two so you guys seem very well rounded you guys have a little bit of everything going on here Let's see if I can see any words. We don't have any vowels really. So this might more so just be initials or names. The strawberry too, another group got, I just think of finding the positivity, even if it's something small. You know, there's always something small to look forward to. 
um, that you can find, you know, when you feel like you're in, in the bushes in a sense, like analogy here, but you know, if you feel like you're going through a little bit of a challenge, there's always something to look forward to. You know, even if you find something small, people really see that you're that kind of person. You're a problem solver for sure. This too makes me think of the Queen of Cups, this Aquamarine. So Aqua, lots of water energy here too. So you've got the Cancer charm here, so you might be a water sign. So peace, again with the happiness card, I think you just want to be peaceful and happy and just focus on, on good things. And you're not somebody to focus on drama and gossip. You just want people to be happy and people admire that. And I think, you know, if there are more people like you, there wouldn't be as much you know sadness or drama or negativity I think people could if they just sort of came together and were more like you people would be a lot happier so keep doing keep being you keep being your sweet self people see that you are have been strong and uh just know that okay so you have been really strong and it's a new beginning for you with this ace of wands this is you're on the verge of a new of new beginning there's lots of potential in the horizon for you so you know stay dedicated stay strong Keep that courage up. Be true to yourself. Upside down mask. Be true to yourself and you'll do fine. Okay, group three. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, please leave me a comment. I love your comments so much and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.